<clears throat> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some more strange horticulture. So, um, I haven't played this game in months. I was um, in an exam period, um, and now it's over, uh, so I can play more and I can upload more, so that's great. I remember we had this thing, two miles north of Foxfield. Aberdeen is sick. Is the secret no more? Two miles from Foxfield. So let's find the Foxfield. Uh, clues here. Um, golden light. Start at Long Meg. I don't know what Long Meg is, man. And I need to get these three plants somewhere to be able to like make a an elixir. But I don't know exactly how to combine them. So, let's find Foxville. I think it was like somewhere up here maybe, right? No? Hmm. Here it is. Um, and it said two miles north of Foxfield. So here? See Raven Circle above the cow. Above the cow. Their cows and crocs cleaving the silence cows and crocs cleaving the silence an omen i take what i came for and i leave Ooh. um okay now i want to figure out what plants these are um so let's start No, not so far. Well, it's like a cocktail. <laughs> like, do we put some alcohol in it and drink it? There was actually a plant that they used to take the extract from it in somewhere like 15,000 and 1,500 uh, after Christ. Um, and people used to get high off of it. But it lessened their life expectancy, so they all fucking died. Only the rich people could drink it, so nothing too much lost. I don't have any of these plants, what the fuck? Nah, I should, wait. <sighs> okay, wait. No. So we want something. No. I, I forget the English word for it now, fuck. Um, this? No, it has way too many um, petals. In... And... Okay, this is one of them, I think. No, it's not. We want something that has five petals that are pointy. Five pointy petals. Oh, this is one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Yeah, this is one. Okay. Then we need something that has two stemons and five petals. This thing. Nice. Found it. Good. And then we want something with five and two, but the petals are square this thing okay so let's put all those like here i'm gonna have to reorganize everything oh and i can actually <clears throat> by process of elimination i can actually categorize that plant now because i haven't found this. So, made from the crushed petals of three distinctive plants. <clears throat> Baylox elixir is potent aid to memory. Uh, it's a potent aid to memory, allowing those who drink it to ensure that they retain important information that they will never forget. Care must be taken after drinking, however, to avoid the fate of Grey Gale, who slowly lost her mind after taking the 
cocktail and starting and staring at a blank wall for 12 hours. So this is the cocktail. I don't know how to crush it. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> you go here. Uh, it's kind of dangerous. I guess those thorns or something. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's get it started, Hellbone, shall we? Ah, uh, one from the librarian from today. Ooh, okay. In reference to your question, the other day about the long meg? <clears throat> yes, please, fuck. I'm afraid I don't have an answer, but... <laughs> fuck. <laughs> but Kelder Abbe has a wealth of knowledge on local love. I do not have an answer, but Kelder Abbey has a wealth of knowledge on local love. If you ever go there, uh, the monks will require a plan from you, but they won't tell you what they want. A sort of test. They're never allowed. They never allowed me to look through their stacks, Simone. So it's a secret, but don't they have a plan? That gets rid of secrets, isn't this? Yeah, uncovered secrets. So I can just give them this. Yeah. Hmm. So where do we go? Local love. Okay, let's see that. Right? Uh, local love. Wealth of knowledge and local love. Abbe. Abbe has a well. Soldier Abbe. Is this the location? Yeah, maybe this is the location. Sobra Bay. Found it. It's here. Fuck, dude. Okay. A small window opens within the matched larger oak door from the darkness within a voice. Only a friend may enter. They want the plant for friendship! The friendship plant! Uh, light blue flowers, like... No, what was the... Fucking friendship plant? I've uh, been used certain to bloom again, so you strain. No, I don't care about that. Uh, it has light, present scent, not those are boiling roots, speaking good. No, no, no. Plants known for quality of corpses, friend, as corpses friend. Um, no. As dark smell, someone's scent. Nope. South warmer climates, they were used to loot after a long dead king. No. Nope. Oh wait, this a beautiful dark box made of many smaller flowers. A strong smelling bulb of plant has powerful sporadic effect to make common intense clean. No. Uh offering a of fox bottom. Yeah, here it is. Uh let's see fox bottom. Okay, it should be somewhere here. This fox bottom, fox bottom for respect. This thing, hell yeah! The hat snaps shut. The oak door swings inward slowly without a sound. I'm ushered in by a man wearing a plain brown robe. He nods silently when I ask about Long Meg, and leads me through the abbey to a small library filled with scrolls and books. Without a word, he pauses for a moment, surveying, before selecting a scroll and handed it to me. Okay. Regarding Long Mag, there's a stone circle north of Undermere. According to local legend, some hundreds, perhaps even thousands of years ago, a witch known as Long Meg lived nearby along with their daughters. 
They were wild, godless people who practiced evil magic until one night they went too far and Meg and her daughters were turned into stone. The, te the tall stones that surround part from the main circle are called Long Meg by the locals. I see. Golden Light started Long Meg. Okay, let's get to Long Meg then. That is a very weird rumor to have, you know? So this is the long mag, the daughter's stone circle, and it said it's like, uh, it's, there's a stone circle north of Andermere, yeah. So south three, one, two, three, east two, one, two, here, the river the river in its youth here, flowing swiftly through the rocks with a melodic gur gurgle. Among the tall grass that line the river bank in it among the tall grasses that line the river bank is a much more unusual looking flower. Oh shit, what is that? Let's uh Let's move everything a little bit here, yeah? Okay, let me just do this real quick. Okay, that took a little bit, but I feel much better about the situation now. It's way less chaotic. Um, okay, Hellboom, let's go to the next one. The sisterhood are trying my patience again. If the old Arda was around, but she's not. They've kept secrets for hundreds of years. If ever there was a time to share them, it's now. They know of a way to defend the servant, to defeat the servant. Some ritual or weapon or something, but their stubborn pride won't bring them to ask for help. Well, I won't sit around idly, buy and do nothing. I'd better have a little chat with the new Arda, and I think I'll take some mountain astory with me. Okay, <laughs> how about you don't kill her, but yeah, you can uh, for sure. Mountain Astery promotes an aura of confidence and performance. The large cup like flower produces a stale, dump smell. The large cup like flowers produce a stale, dump smell. Is this it? Uh, it has this reminds me of an old book musk. Yeah, I think this is it. But like, I don't know. Um, let's try. So, Alpium uh, Gracilis or Mountain Astori Confidence. Up. I guess this is it, right? Nice. A uh, weeping bell. This is it. The weeping bell. I found it. <laughs> um. Yeah, okay, here it is. Wait. Weeping bell. A plant that is believed by many to lead to gold. You have about as much luck searching for the end of a rainbow. The sort of 
free frilled leaves can smooth insects bite can soothe insect bites and stings. It's also known as golden light. Mm. And sometimes uh, fool's gold. False hope. False hope. Well, this is golden light very much. So Mentum Lamentum Nixus or Golden Light slash weeping bell uh for insect bites nice okay yeah i feel good about that um let's put this guy's one over here and i think i can fit one more here yeah there you go okay Good job, Hellbone. Let's go to the next customer. Thomas Agrinos! Do you have a bio, man? Nope. I have finished the design you asked me to work on. Be very careful unwrapping this. Some of this glasswork is quite delicate, and I have taken great care transporting them. Uh, my lab equipment is finally here. I will now be able to brew elixirs using ingredients. Oh, fuck yeah. For my plants. Where is that? Here it is. Okay. So this is that elixir. Create elixir. Uh, new elixir acquired. This elixir, where is it? Found and is it like here? Yeah, here it is. Okay, put you here. Pale blue liquid. Okay. Um, Baylox elixir. This is Baylox. Elixir uh, for permanent memory. So it is kind of, you need to be careful. So I'm just going to put it like that. Nice. Okay. That's great. That is very good. Okay. Next customer, Hellbone. The new Arda wouldn't like. Wouldn't like me being here, but the forest is in danger. I spoke with Verona Green earlier. It's bad. If the Dendru was awakened, then we'll come for it. Will come for us. You must place an offering at the altar of Ar Arduina. Okay. Two churches, altar of Arduina, and it needs an offer. Okay, wait. First of all, a ritualistic offer. Clues. Put that there. Uh, a ritualistic offer. Uh, light bulbs are like rounded. Uh, strengthen the clarity of vision properties. No. Uh, it can be seen to draw light. No. This is when conditions are just right. The cold winter will. It has a warming effect for centuries to cure all manners of skin rashes. Uh, pale rays made from it craves at loved ones. Um, wait, a rare plant that is believed to help the dead find peace in the afterlife. Those who can afford it plant wealth. And what did she want me to do? Um, you must place an offering at the altar of Arduana. It's an altar, not a dead person. So, no. Um, known some say it has appellation in dark magic. Um, those who worship the hunters, Arduana, place the flowers and offering to ensure successful hunt grows from thin stems. Small leaves. So this is the plant we're looking for. Calderi. Do I have it? Uh, have I found it? So let's see. 
stomach. Call protection. Acutus magus. Major, acutus major. Nope. Let me take you to back, sorry. Could is major. No. No. Nope. Nope. Could is minor. You want the major. Do you think it should be one of these ones that I haven't clarified? Um, it goes on thin stems with small leaves. This is it, yeah. Acutus major. Um, offering to God. And I hope I spelled the goddess correctly. Um, ah, wait, I can just, yeah, have it here. Um, Duina and Dark Magic. I'm gonna put it like that. The classification. So now we need to explore and find this thing. So, two churches, a mountain, a river, and then... <sighs> okay. Let's find the churches first, right? This is, this is our churches. Um... Or maybe they're not churches? I don't know. It needs to be somewhere between a river. So let's check the rivers here. Rivers and mountains. No. Can't me. Hey, no. So it's a church that passes near a mountain, and there is a river passing by it. Fuck. This. No. It needs to be like this side. Here it is. Here. <gasps> it seems it seems Beth has been able to keep her fellow her fellow sister away from this part of the forest for now at least. The trees are thick here. Old too. The altar seems to belong here. As much a part, um, as much a part of the forest as Gnair Trine. Like as much a part of the forest as the Gnair. Oh, okay. Uh, I must place an offering. What is the Ember Soul? What? Why would I want to place an Ember Soul? Ember Soul. Embers are thought to have protective properties. It's sometimes given to offering of various deities in return for sanctuary. Yeah, but I don't want a sanctuary. Produces fall flowers with many petals. Razor sharp leaves. Wait. 
they need sanctuary they need to be protected um so it's quite easy to cut yourself on those jagged leaves as uh, so have just asked these flowers with many photos watch out for the leaves they're very really sharp yeah this is it okay animal ignis ember ember soul uh, offering to gods for for protection I feel like this is the correct answer I'm gonna give ember soul Okay. okay, next customer then. <laughs> Holy shit. Good job, Hellbone. You're the best. Hold on a minute. Let me just make my plans. Okay. <clears throat> I'm being harassed by loonies. Sh shouting about the redemption saying they're going to set it free whatever the hell that means well they can take their seeds of whatever walk in something or well they can take their seeds of whatever walk in something or other nonsense and stick it wherever the sun doesn't shine i'm not joking they're damn they're damn cold i just want to tend to my garden in peace i'm looking for some lark shine to drive them away you have any around here lark shine uh let me check lark shine i do be careful with that one well <sighs> That's it for this day. So the cult is coming out of the woods and just saying that, hey, we're gonna free you all, we're gonna, gonna fuck your dads and moms or something. 902x803, okay. In time, she learned that the sisterhood had secrets, or had she have always known that? Had she come to them by chance, or had she sought them out deliberately? She wasn't sure, but by now, she knew what she wanted, and she would do anything to get it. Okay, weird. Well, <sighs> thank you all so much for watching this episode of Strange Horticulture. We will continue this off next time, and see what this is all about. Numbers. And we will see. In any case, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you all when we try to defeat the fucking demons again. <laughs> Goodbye.